Hi everyone, Simona here from VectorTwist. In today's tutorial, I would like to show you how to interlock two letters. As you can see here on the screen, I have the letter S and the letter D. Now for example, if I select the S and move it over to the D, I would like to interlock both letters. But I would like to make it happen that this part of the S on top here is over the D, and so is this part, but the rest is underneath. Now usually you could achieve that by selecting it all and then opening up the Pathfinder panel and then choosing the various options you have in the Pathfinder. But I would like to show you a much better and more fun way. This way will help you especially if you're not sure what position your letters will be. For example, you're working on monograms and you will have interlocking letters. You will be able to use this technique that I'm going to show you and still move the letters around without having to cut them up into pieces. Now let me show you how to achieve this. I'm sure you have heard of the Live Paint Pocket tool before. Now the Live Paint Pocket tool we can find in the toolbar on the left. If you hover over the Shape Builder tool, just press and hold the mouse button and underneath you'll find the Live Paint Pocket tool. The shortcut for this is K. Now before we use the Live Paint Pocket tool, let's first select our shapes, open up the Swatches panel, I'm going to drag it out, and simply create a new color group. With everything selected, just click the New Color Group button, give it a name, I'm just going to leave it Color Group 1, and then I press OK. As you can see, I have two swatches now here on the bottom. Both are turned into global colors, so if I want to change anything later on, all I have to do is double-click those swatches and change the color. Then we're going to select both of our letters and then choosing the Live Paint Bucket tool in the toolbar. Now, as you can see here on the screen, the middle highlighted square in red is the color that will be applied to the shape that I'm going to choose. Now, if I hover over this part, you can see I not just colored it into red. Now, the top up of my S is overlapping onto my letter D. Now, this part I do not want to color red, but the bottom part of the S here, I want to color red as well. So I simply click on the shape and now I have filled it with the red. Now if I deselect them, you can see I have interlocked both letters. And I didn't even have to use the Pathfinder tool. Now the fun part about this technique is that you can still move the S or the D around, or any other letter that you've chosen to interlock. Now let me show you what I mean. Simply select the shapes, right click, and then go Isolate Selected Group. Now we are in the Live Paint group, and if I'm going to select, and I'm just drawing a marquee on my shape S, I'm selecting all of the shape, and then I can still move it around. Now watch what happens. If I move it to the top, for example, the S is still in one single shape, and I've only interlocked it with the Live Paint Bucket tool. Since I haven't expanded this, it is still a live effect, and I still have my original shapes available. I can move it up, or I can move it down, and you can see it is still interlocked. This of course works if I want to move it onto the other side. And as you can see, it is still interlocked just like how I did it earlier. Now I'm going to exit the group, and I'm going to create a copy of this, go back into my isolate selected group, select my S again, and then move it over to the other side. It is still interlocked, and now I have both versions. One is interlocked on the right side of the D and one the S is interlocked on the left side. This way you can really play around when you're designing monograms, for example, where you know you'll have interlocking elements. Of course, afterwards you would like to expand it if you want to add a stroke and such, because unfortunately with the Live Paint Pocket tool, we cannot use strokes. We need solid shapes. So if you had a stroke, it would be actually turned into a shape. Now let me just show you in case you wanted to add a stroke to everything. For example, I'm going to add a black stroke. As you can see, it is not working. But if you were working with a stroke, you would want to turn it into a shape right from the start. So let me quickly show you how that works. I have a copy still of our original letters, so let me paste this back here. So I'm going to select my two shapes, and I'm going to add a black stroke. I want to make sure I set it to the outside, and maybe set it to about three points. Now I'm going to select my shapes, then we'll go to Object, Path, and choose Outline Stroke. 
Now the fun part begins again. I want to make the fill active to the front. I'll select my two letters and then I'm going to choose my Life Paint Pocket Tool again in the toolbar. Now let's zoom in so we can see a little bit better. As you can see here, we did this part of the S behind our letter D. So I'm going to choose from my swatches panel the fill of the orange. I'm going to click the black stroke here, the red, and the other black part. Now you can see we've set everything to the back. The only thing we have to pay attention here, this has to be black as well. So I'm going to switch to black for the fill and choose these two shapes and fill them with a the black. Now if I zoom out, you can see that I've interlocked the letters again. Now if I select everything again, right click and choose isolate selected group. I have to be very careful what I select. Now I select the letter D and then I can move it up or down or even to the right or to the left and then just position it a little bit better. Sometimes we have a little bit of a mistake happening and then all you have to do is again select your whole shape, go back to the Live Paint Pocket tool and then choose the colors and correct those mistakes. And this is it. We are at the end of this tutorial about how we can interlock letters here in Illustrator. Again, we've used the Live Paint Pocket tool that you can find here in the toolbar. And since this is still a live effect, you can still move the shapes around even after you interlock them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a like and also leave any questions or comments below. And don't forget to head over to vectortwist.com for more tutorials, tips and tricks. I'll see you next time.